And just like that, we're back again. I know people always want to see my updates, but you know, I don't usually do that many this time of year because there's not really much going on. I mean, any plants that, um, you know, may have been diseased or got some kind of sun. Yeah, you see that? Wasp. See him? Do you guys see him? Yeah, baby. So let's talk about Wasp since, uh, since he's right there patrolling hardcore. Uh, they are what I found to be the absolute best. Um, they're, they're the best treatment against aphids. Now, I know you can buy um, like wasp eggs or something and they hatch and so it's similar to probably mantis eggs or something. But, um, but most of the time, most people in America live somewhere where there's wasps. So the update, uh, there's a little purper right there. Yeah, there's a pepper come. Oh, there's one back there too. Wonder what that is. That's odd. The shape on those. Huh? Oh, it's a fatality. Okay, but boy, that's a that's a very weird looking fatality. So that's a it's a fatality back there. Yeah, those two back plants are fatalities right here. These two, with all the flowers, and they're growing all weird looking. The leaves and everything. Those are the white knights ghost over there this is a lemon scorpion and then over here we got papadretti's those two and then these two are um what are these moas scotch bonnet uh bohemian goat tangerine ts which is a brand new pepper that i've not um tried i've never reviewed it or grown it and uh, i'm totally sure which uh, tangerine a ts whatever ts tangerine ts Stands for Tony Sherwood, and then some uh, KSLS. It's so weird the difference between. I showed you guys that before, but it could be that one's getting more sunlight. This plant's a little light looking. It's really weird, but we got purple. There's a pepper right there. That's a little KSLS. Oh, there's another one there. Okay, so yeah, we're getting some little pods on, nonetheless. All right, so there's the uh, the lemon ghostly jalapenos. Look at that. Oh, there's a predator wasp. Look at them. So the other one was a bigger one, different species. These are the ones I love. See that little wasp? That's why I'm not going to go into the plant. I was going to go in and show you guys the peppers, but uh, these these are, they got quite a few on them. It's hard to see, so I can't see because the sh sun's shining where I'm looking with the phone. But yeah, that's those uh, lemon ghostly jalapenos. Look how big this one is. I wish that was on the bottom. So the way this grows, it, it, this whole thing, so what this does is, Eventually, it just looks like one big plant. <laughs> it's just like literally, they all kind of intertwine, and it just looks like this huge, tall, crazy looking plant. And on the bottom are seven pot primos. I haven't checked for any uh, peppers on these yet. They take a little bit longer, but there is some flower action going on. The seven pot primo, so I'm not too worried about it. And then we got peppers here. This is my daughter's. Yes. 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 That's my daughter's uh, New Max Lemon Spice Jalapeno. We got two more over here. And they're doing well. These ripen yellow. So I'm tempted to just rip one off and eat it. Because I know it'll be good because it's a jalapeno. But um, I'm not going to. I'm going to try to be patient and wait. And wait till I see a yellow. Oh, Predator Wasp just landed on me. He got right off though. Never been stung by one. Knock on air. Ain't got no wood near me. So, yeah, that's the plant update. Everything's looking pretty good. Um, you're seeing a little bit of leaf curl. It's weird. Some of the plants, I mean, I don't know why. This plant is doing so good. Look at how bushy that is and how perfect it is. It's so weird that you get some plants that, and then this is the same plant right here. But there's nothing wrong with it. It's just a little bit lighter colored and, you know, it's just a little bit lighter colored and it's not as much. Oh, there's a, I see a purple. There's a purper right there. And those are the uh, Papadretti Scotch Bonnets. Yeah, if you've never got to try Papadretti, you should. They are also were known as uh, uh, Scotch Bonnet Selects. And Papadretti actually got those um, from Jamaica many, many years ago. Maybe 15 now, I don't know. Maybe longer. Um, he had passed away. But uh, he had got these certain Scotch Bonnets and he selected the best genetics from what he wanted and grew it out and it's actually a it's a stronger kind of I don't know how to say it stronger 
Caribbean flavor. Like it's maybe it's, I think it's definitely more citrusy than a regular MOA Scotch bonnet or the, there's, there's a lot of yellow Scotch bonnets out there that are not MOA that were just, you know, uh, bad genes. Um, anybody doesn't know about the MOA Scotch bonnet, there's a wasp. Yeah. Patrolling the hay in. Yeah, he's looking for aphids and uh, or anything, anything that can hurt my plants, man. These guys are the best. That's why I've seen zero aphids last year. Now, this year I've seen some, and I got ladybugs and let the ladybugs go go nuts on them, and they were, they were taken care of. And then after the ladybugs kind of migrated away, um, I started seeing wasps, and I would look under tons of leaves, and, man, maybe I'd see one or two aphids, and I would just pinch them off and squish them. And I didn't even bother. I wasn't worried about treating again. Um, not, not at all whatsoever. So, yeah, wasps are your best friend. Let me tell you that. They come through here, I mean, pretty much every day at some point. Uh, they'll come through, and they'll, they'll get on the plants, and they'll, they'll go through the leaves and kind of look for signs or whatever they're looking for, smelling for aphids. I don't know how they do it, but they, they look around, and they eat them, and, you know, if they find, some, if they find one or two on a plant, they, that wasp might stay on that plant for a while until they get rid of all of them. But then the cool thing about it is the wasps, they'll come back the next day and check again. So it is great. You seeing a little leaf curl go on here? See that? Yeah. So what that's from is we got a ton of rain here. Um, and I really shouldn't even have watered these today. But I did because it's going to be hotter than normal. Um, I, may, I may let them go without water tomorrow. Because I could tell by if you lift up the pots, they're pretty heavy. Uh, these things are at a point though where the roots there's a lot of roots in them and there's a lot of foliage so you, you can't really overwater them at this point uh, they got good dra drainage and all that uh, the only thing is what you will see is when we, we had a week straight it rained every day what you will see after that is on some plants you'll see leaf curl you know you notice it's on these two the most why is that they're the same plant these are either moa or uh or bohemian goats I'm not sure which one i don't feel like looking for the tag right now where's the tag oh okay let's see oh yeah moas all right yeah so the moas got a little bit of leaf curl going on but uh, nothing nothing too that's not gonna hurt them they'll be fine they got a good amount of flowers so moa by the way if anyone doesn't know st stands for ministry of agriculture it is the jamaican ministry of agriculture to be a MOA Scotch Bonnet it has to have a certain pheno. Um, they do have MOA red. They have MOA yellow. The original MOA yellow is what these are. And uh, great taste in pepper. You know, come in at about 250 to 400,000 Scoville units. I mean, I've had them. The average, I think, is 300. I've had them before where they've blown away a habanero. Now, with the Papadretti, definitely hotter than a habanero or MOA scotch bonnet. Um, um, the bohemian goats are, they're around, I don't know, bohemian goats are, they fluctuate like a fatality a little bit. I've had bohemian goats where they've been as mild as a MOA scotch bonnet, and I've had them where they have been definitely hotter than a red savina habanero. Um, maybe around a fatality, you know, so they, they, they probably, you know, I think some of them could probably tip in at 600,000. 650 maybe on the low spectrum three 350 so yeah that's it um you know ksls you got to have those so i found you want to make a really good scotch bonnet sauce man throw some ksls with the bohemian goats and the papadretis and the and the moas together and you will get such a good scotch bonnet like a jamaican pepper sauce um that to be honest this is stuff that i ate 20 30 years ago and yeah i mean at, over at least 30 years ago uh and then what happened is we started seeing all these scotch bonnets even habaneros coming through that lost a lot of their aroma a lot of their flavor um everything went commercial and since a lot of peppers habaneros prime example and and scotch bonnets too but they're not as commercial as you know as they, they should be more commercial i think honestly but in a good way i would not um do what they did with the habanero the habanero um 
weak genetics, um, you know, the crap they were doing, whatever they did to habaneros over the years, they like, they just, uh, there's, there was, there's a lot, a lot going on. Trust me. Um, I had some heirloom habanero seeds. I grew them. I had a buddy that grew heirloom habanero seeds two years ago. I, I, I he had one plant. I bought every pepper from him. They were so phenomenal. And, and my wife couldn't believe they were habaneros. Said, That's just habanero, you know? So, um, Ministry of Agriculture keeps true to the Scots Bonnet, Fino. It's, it's got to have a certain Fino also. But, um, but yeah, this is just our salad peppers. This is what these are out here. You know, this is what we use for our personal use. Maybe I'll make some Jamaican pepper sauce or some mash. Um, this is what we put on salads. We eat on sandwiches. I eat with my breakfast every day is these peppers right here. Other stuff I make powders out of and do certain things. But these are the, these are the snack peppers. Thank you guys for watching. Yeah.